Hello everybody and welcome back or welcome to a mod the gungeon mod spotlight This one is gonna be kind of I guess it's kind of showcasing a couple mods But we're gonna be looking at Kyle's item pack mod Made by Kyle the scientist might have heard that name he worked on the custom character mod we've showcased Also if you've checked out the streams over twitch.tv slash reformation you may be seen the Isaac game modes mod to create a more randomized Eden-esque character for the game, but today we're showcasing effectively mostly the items here But we do have a simple stats mod by him. I'll have a link in the description for everything that I'm using here If you want to go and check it out and download it for yourself To throw in your game This is just so that we can get a better look at what the items are going to be providing for us Throughout the run here currently. I've got three of them. There's there's quite a bit though There's quite a bit of items We're gonna be slowly giving to ourselves throughout the run so that we can give each item a little bit more time to shine a lot of these are active items, so we're going to be having to uh, shift between them quite a bit. And as such, one of the first items I gave myself from the mod pack is the ice pack. It increases the active item capacity, cools the items held within, thereby speeding up the cooldown process. Most of the complaints about this item are related to wet shirts. So, active items cool down passively, literally meaning instead of having to shoot enemies to get your active item back, it will slowly over time start to recharge. In addition to that, we got ourselves two actives. First one being the Terrifying Mask. Hard to look at active. Terrifying Mask that frightens bullet kin to their cores. Resembles the Tyrant Wizard who has lorded over the gungeon for centuries. It's too scary to wear for long. So this is going to be an AoE fear when we're using him. Then there's Sweating Bullets, which is, while active, triples bullet damage but reduces health to one hit. Don't get nervous. About as crazy as it sounds and as a result just so I can use it or uh, use it more fully and not just have to not have to worry really because we want to just get through and showcase all the items. This is not going to be like look how good I am. This is just going to be let's look how cool these items are. So while this is on we should you can see over there even we got a multiplier of three times as much damage which is pretty insane but you can also see up there our health went down to one hit and then in the meantime you can see the fun active nature of or the uh, the passively charging nature of our ice pack and our health is back to normal let's do a little bit of fear so because it does kind of the the fear effect that you see on the um you know like when the jk47 reloads or on the stone dome a little bit of both of those so it looks like maybe as a result of having the ice pack you don't get to charge them up normally Ah, indeed. Okay, I took a hit there because I was <laughs> just looking at the wrong part of the screen. So, huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It, pa it, it starts to recharge passively, but you no longer get it normally. So it's a little bit of a, it's a, it's a switch off. It's a downside. There's probably some items where that's really good for and some items where it's maybe not as good for. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's be bold. We got ourselves the pig for a little bit of backup. Little bit of backup. There is another item in this pack. Oh, look at that. We pick it up. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter because we have the thing on. Holy moly. There's another mod or item in this pack that I will give to myself now. To do this, we can do give it KTS Power of Scientist. And then we say Boss Bullets. It's going to make it so there's actually a lot more of a reason to have that three times damage up because Boss Bullets does kind of what you might assume. Also, I love the art on this one. Greatly increases damage dealt to bosses. This item was created by a union of gungeoneers who became fed up with low wages and poor benefits. Viva la revolution. Show them who's boss. I do believe I actually gave myself the <laughs> Not the item I meant to give myself. However, we will uh, we'll, we'll get it before the boss. And I'll show off what exactly can be done when you get just the right combination of these items. It's uh, going to be crazy gonna be crazy I'm, I might want to give myself more active item slots and we can really have a lot of fun just cycling through like let's do uh, let's do backpack hell give me 10 backpacks does it make sense no whatever so give item give yourselves another active item here the uh, which one is it it is the curse ring so all of these items so far are cursed you can see over there we are up at six curse till death do you part so the cursed ring while it's active while it's active it disables boss dps cap temporarily allows your bows to draw the power of the high dragon it's been cursed with a strange magic cannot be removed cannot be removed 
We can get real items too. We did whatever. So these items, when you download this pack, you can actually find them in your regular item chest, just like normal. What have I done? No. <laughs> triple the damage. Triple the damage, boy. Who cares about the, the risky business? We are a gungeoneer. I'm sure, like, it, you could compare that with, like, a uh, potion lead skin on a run. You got yourself a stew going, baby. That's a run right there. You know? That could pop off pretty easily. Just get yourself the invincibility and uh, triple damage. Invincibility covering up. Okay, does this do anything well? Okay, doesn't look... It looks like it just makes us have kind of cursed sort of bullets. Obviously, we look pretty jammed. Pretty pretty slick. However, I don't believe it does anything to enemies that are not bosses. I believe it's just a normal little thing. I didn't see... I mean, you can... You can correct me if I'm wrong. You can see over there in the stats what happened there. But I don't believe it does anything other than delete the boss cap. Get scared, man. But we're going to be switching between our items like crazy. Our active items like crazy. Unfortunately, the game does not assume that you're going to have that many items, so we're going to have to, like, actually shuffle through them pretty pretty crazily. But I just, I really, you know, I, I love that there is a lot of active items in here because I feel like it's kind of, the game kind of has some untapped potential. I'm going to wait through the boss after we can get both of these things going. Are these all charging up at the same time? I would hope so. Because that's kind of what I what I had in mind there. But yeah, I feel like there's some untapped potential with some of the active items. And this this item pack... I really thought that was going to be... Uh, this item pack seems to tap the kind of potential that I sort of really like to see in, the, in modded items. Which is risk-reward. I mean, sweating bullets is like the ultimate, ultimate risk-reward. Triple your damage, but one hit and you're dead. That's the ultimate risk-reward. But you don't have to pick it up, you know? So let me see if I can drop this. I shouldn't be able to. All right, you cannot drop the curse ring. Indeed. So that's another interesting idea as well. When you get it, especially like, that opens up an interesting prospect. Say you get it really early on in your run, but you don't have any, like, you have no idea if you're actually going to be, ooh. What synergy is this? I don't even remember. Oh, the return, because it's a cannon. Aha. Uh -huh. But, um, you get it really early on, you're not necessarily guaranteed to have a run that's uh, going to really pop off. But anyway, here we go. We're going to give ourselves the boost of damage. Give ourselves the curse ring. Oh my god. So yeah, I mean, if, if in a normal run you got both these, it would be amazing. You are putting yourself in a little bit of peril. Of course, of course. I knew that was a mimic. And I just touched it anyway. Be scared of me. Sit in the corner, you coward. Table pick. Okay, I'm not going to grab another... I'm not going to grab another active item right now. Because, frankly, we just don't need another one to, b to bounce around. What the hell with the flare gun? Oh, my gosh. Kyle, did you also add uh, increased spawn chance for flare gun? I swear, is that... There's two already, right? All right, let's slap another item on. Give KTS, uh, let's try out Sticky Bomb is one I really wanted to see. So Sticky Bomb, 10% unchanced. Oh, I, you know what? Props, Kyle, for actually putting the percentages and stuff in here. 10% chance on hit to attach a bomb to an enemy, detonating for 2,000% damage. See the orange end? Don't touch it. Get off me. All right. That, I wonder, okay, does it got some visuals to it or not I we will see I'm kind of assuming oh it does oh my god all right I'm into it I'm into it and you know what this plus boss damage cap removal that alone is gonna be pretty stupid because that's kind of a problem I have with a couple items like um, sticky crossbow um, what else the strafe gun, to, except the cat claw, they kind of have that delayed explosion, so the boss damage cap effectively makes them a stupid item. I'm really into the idea of sticky bombs. 
I'm really, really into the idea of the sticky bombs. I think that they could be really cool. And I don't think they're... You, you see, okay, 2,000% damage. You're like, that's OP as hell. But the thing with delayed damage in a game like this, it's not as OP as you think because you can also just spend that time doing the damage. I love the little sound effect that goes along with it too. There's some really, really creative ideas here. Kyle does good, good, good work, and I guarantee you, we, you have not seen the last of uh, of his modding stuff. There's definitely some other things that we're going to be checking out soon. But I wanted to get the item one out of the way first. Out of the way. That may sound like it's a problem. No, I was very, very excited to get the item item one out of the way. I was very excited because then we can. Um, we can just showcase these items and then use them in all fu all future Mod the Gungeon episodes are just going to automatically include them. Like, I am actually not going to go for this because all of these items have curse, it seems like. So, the, you know what? The Fear Mask doesn't seem OP either. I don't know that, and like, none of these items seem OP yet. If you combine them together... I can see some some wackiness going on, but even then, it's like that the trigger twin super KO you saw there, that was still risky. Like, it was still risky. Okay, so we can just hide and get that. Good deal. It was still risky because we were, you know, we were one hit away from death to make that happen. So a little bit a little bit spicy. Very, very cool, very, very strong. Give ourselves another item go for another active I guess let's go with blood shield wait do we do blood shield underscore okay blood shield do we have we got a lot of items <laughs> all right so blood shield let's read the description thing for it here iron for blood uh, had a bubble in my throat okay trades hearts for armor for carbon based species blood naturally contains hemoglobin a molecule composed of iron and hema groups. This item collects that iron from your body and forges it into armor. Approved by 100% of all doctors everywhere. Well, that is a rave review. I mean, it's about as logical as it sounds. Does it trade a full heart for one shield? Okay. Super balanced. But yet very cool. Honestly, this might... Despite seeing that, you might be like, Oh no, that's a, that's a horrible trade. Like, two hits for one hit? That is not a horrible trade. If you get this item early, if you get this item late, it might be kind of bad. Kind of. Like, if you get this on bullet hell, like, of course it's bad. Like, you know, it's not, it's not, in rare scenarios would it help you on, if you get it on bullet hell. But you're also probably not going to get it there. But the, the usage for it, the obvious case of use for it is, um, all the health that you normally have to leave behind on the floor you don't have to leave behind no more and that is pretty cool one thing I might do to just keep this uh, my active items a little bit less full is use this and then drop it like I, I might use it a, a bit and drop it and then just spawn it in for myself again later get out of here Because it's it's a very cool idea, and I've always thought that there should be an item like that in the game. It's cool that there is one now in an active form. Because it's for new players, it's like whatever. That's not gonna probably not gonna help you very much. All right, here we go. I made a mistake. All right, there we go. Oh, the explosions though! <laughs> it's so satisfying to see the two things working together. It brings a dang tear to your eye. Oh, 2,000 damage was not enough for you, mister. How are you alive? The bomb. I'm not going to pick up another active item, especially especially uh, when we got so many other cool ones here. All right, so we got one here. I'm just going to do it because of whatever. So I'm, just, I'm that kind of guy. Let's get rid of all these and then hell let's get rid of the let's get rid of the shield so that's that item we can um we can just spawn it in for ourselves later if we want to use it let's see what else do we got here let's give kts thermometer so the thermometer 
Pow. Check your temperature. Coolness increases damage. Stay frosty. As simple as that. Coolness increases damage. So, what do we have that is increasing our coolness? I believe it's... No, it's not that. What thing increases coolness that we have? I get... Oh, it's this. All right. Damage. Okay, so it's 0 0.05 per coolness. 0 0.05 damage up per coolness. Doesn't sound like a lot, but... That kind of thing adds up. Oh, my God. Sweating bullets, why not? Bring it on. Probably shouldn't enter a, enter a room like that, because that's exactly when you take damage. For me, at least. I Right when I enter the room, is on s stupid occasions, I get bopped. But that's what we gave ourselves the pig for, so that we can... We can goof around with the item and not actually feel some extreme consequence. Obviously, it would be a very dangerous... Whoa! Table tech blanks and table tech money. That has nothing to do with Kyle's mod. That has everything to do with a, uh, a seizure induced by dodge roll themselves. Holy moly. That's all the tables blanking at the same time. Whoa. Whenever we see the bomb on the people, we should honestly just, like, say, you're done. You're done, son. Unless they're big, big boys. Not necessary. Don't you do it. Sweating bullets. Why not? Why not? Because I could die? Oh. That's fine. Bop, 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 bop. We got any more passes? Let me double check. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Give. Let's do this one. KTS mask. I actually did not see this one. The mask. Looks like it's very much based off of the ninja secret character there. Hidden and forgotten improves dodge rolling abilities. Found in the back of a desk drawer in the previously inaccessible wing of the gungeon. Next to it was a note that read, what a weave. So I believe this makes it so our dodge roll distance goes up and allows the player to phase through enemies while dodging. So instead of that stinky dodge roll, you know what? I'm into it. That is a, that's, that's a cool passive item. Because most scenarios, you don't actually want to jump off at people. Yeah, we'll sacrifice our heart for a friend. Are you kidding me? Of course we will. Most situations, you probably don't want to bounce off the enemies. There's a couple situations here and there where maybe you do, but... Oh, okay. Well, that was, the explosion pushed us. We got a little bit uh, bamboozled. It happens. What are we going for? Let's go for Let's get the terrifying mask in there. Terrifying mask and sweating bullets can be a relatively good combo as well, it seems. What am I doing this for? I've got my sweating bullets on. I'm ready. Oh. The room is just clear. That's right. Good deal. Predator. So, could we, like... I mean, we could in theory, I don't I don't know what our dodge roll distance is. We could in theory jump over them, over the pit too. But we could do something like that. Oh gosh, I love it. That's a fun passive item, fun passive item. Not, like I said, it's, it's kind of like not strictly better. It's not strictly, I'm gonna get rid of table tech money for, just in case anybody is photo sensitive. Because we don't need money on this run. I will just... I, I'll be honest. I will just spawn myself money if there's something I really, really want. Just gotta be real there. Easy. There's no way. No way! <laughs> Had to try. Had to try. It's a pretty big dodge roll, though. Had to try. Uh, let's do... Another one... Oops. There we go. This is one that I was very, very interested in. Cloak and dagger. Blood on my suit. Allows the user to sneak up on enemies and stab them in the back, although back is very loosely defined. So, what this does is it turns you invisible, and then apparently... I, and I'm very curious to see how this works, because I am... I just was very interested in it. First of all, it's another ability to steal item, which is a hell yeah from me. Apparently... Oh my god. It's just a it's a one-hit KO. Gotta love that. 
Oh, I was wondering if we could use it with any, any, uh, any stealth item. If, if, uh, maybe that was like a weird little workaround thing, but no. Kyle, Kyle says no. He says, you think that I didn't think of that? You think that, uh, that my code is that messed up? How dare you? That's what he said to me. I swear. I felt it. Cool item. Apologies if the red... Oh, I messed up. That was on me. Apologies if the red flash is rough for photosensitive people. I'm not sure. That's... I, I'm really photosensitive, and just the, the red flash kind of flash doesn't bother me. I don't know if you're... You know, if that... Your mileage may vary. Mileage may vary. I will use it sparingly just in case, but you see the item. It's very, very cool. Very, very cool. I, I do, you know, I mean, maybe after, maybe over the course of a whole run, something like that kind of flash could get, uh, get on in, in my eyeballs, give me a little bit of an ouch. I don't know if it's possible to have it be a lower opacity, kind of like what they did with the Vorpal Bullets change. Possibly, I don't know. I have no idea what's possible and what's not. Oh, get out of my swamp. Thank you. Oh, look at that. That's from the uh, Retrashes item pack. There you go. So, we know it's an enemy. Boop. Gotta love it. Yeah, but the uh, the cracking egg, it's from the Retrashers item pack. Go check out that video if you have not seen it. There's another whopping 19 items that you get to see if you haven't checked that one out already. All right, so let's get... Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, this is a mistake. Oh my god, this is such a mistake. I got so stressed out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Honestly, we maybe should have just gone for the sawed off with the explosive bullets. Maybe would have been better. Also, it's worth trying. I don't think bosses can be feared. They can. They can! Oh, ho, ho, ho. They can be feared. I wonder if you can cloak and dagger the bosses, too. That would be something else. That'd be a pretty slick something else. Don't you do this to me! I was just gonna... I wanted to... Oh. <laughs> I wanted to stand there and see if I could just sneak through the bullets. I don't really care about the health upgrades, let's be real. Blasphemy. This is another good tactical use of the sweating bullets. Just literally give yourself a, like a freezing item, something like that. No problem, you know? All right, I want to show off. Let's do this one. Give KTS a blood bank. This one is probably what you would expect here. Cash for blood, a medically sound device that pays for you for blood. Item was brought to the Gungeon in a mysterious golden chest. Etched in the letter in the back is the letter I. All right. So, how much money? Ten shells per heart. So it's not a freebie like it would be with the uh, with the vampire. So that's kind of good. I'm actually I'm gonna just drop that one and, and leave it be. Like I said, we will for that and the blood blood bank blood shield. We'll just give it to ourselves when we when we want to use it. There's another very, very cool one that I totally forgot about. We're, we're what, like halfway through here? We're gonna have to, let's, let's get cracking here. Give KTS Mimic Whistle. Let's show off this one. Because this one we can just show off right here. It is a single use item, it says, but... It looks like, it actually, okay, it looks like it actually is two uses though. Maybe by single use it means just like, you know, you, you get to use it. Oh, you only get to use it the the one time in theory. We have two mimics. It spawned two mimics. All right. That one didn't have an item though, so that we we whistled in the mimics. I guess we should take a look at this before it goes away here. 
Here, doggy summons a mimic. Surprisingly, mimics can be tamed, sort of. They seem to respond well to the sound of a whistle, at least. Grants coolness when held. Ah. All right. So, grants coolness when held. That can be, that's something that can obviously be utilized well with things we have right now. Flow! Almost got the mimic. I assume we can use it in the middle of, yep, we can use it in the middle of the room, too. It spawns more than one mimic. Which is potentially yikes. We could do some sweating bullets for feeling real frisky. I would have just died right there. Would have just immediately dang died. All right, let's go crazy. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, we got the table tech blanks. What am I doing? We're fine. We got that. Good deal. What else? Uh, get in there. Give KTS. Let's go for... Ba, 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 haven't done the slot machine. Another I idea that I was like, this should be an item, and I saw it in here. Very, very cool. Prototype slot machine designed long ago by Daisuke himself. Just one more spin. So, gives rewards and penalties completely randomly. You lose 10 casings. Very into this idea. Very into this idea. We'll play that a whole bunch, because I'm a I'm a gambling boogeyman, and no, I don't play fair. Red flash, flop. All right. We're getting close to the end of the run, I guess, but we're getting close to the end of the items as well. We'll probably just end up going to the dragon at this rate. You know, I mean, y'all have seen the, the dang, uh, the lich plenty. The thing that you're here, that I'm uh, showcasing here is the items, not the uh, end of the gunship. Oh, I was actually expecting to bounce off him there. We're starting to get close to dying. All of that health sacrificing is starting to bite us in the, uh, the keister. Red flash blop. Once again, I mean, let me know if, you, if you're photosensitive to that or whatever, but uh, I, I'm curious. Just because I'm curious if I use the item in the future. Uh, but, everybody, this, I, I have a question for you. You've made it to this point in the video. I mean, there's a couple items left. Go in, if, uh, if a cooler item shows up, go back and edit your, edit your comment to be like, edit, wait, wait, no, I, uh, I actually like this one best. What is your favorite item in this pack so far? Comment down below. Comment down below. Favorite item in this pack. Because right now, I, I'm, I'm having a, a tough time at picking what mine would be, to be honest. Some really, really cool ones here. And like I, like I said, they're, they're pretty darn balanced. Like, they're pretty darn balanced. Some of them, like I said, the, uh, the damage up and the, uh, and the boss cap down at the same time. You got to also consider that we have boss bullets. We had boss bullets, da triple the damage up and the boss cap removed, all three of those had to be coming into play for that to really happen. To become, quote unquote, maybe OP? Maybe? And that is even considering the fact that you're still one hit away. You're giving up, you're giving up a lot to make that happen. Where's the terrifying mask? That would have been good in this room if I would have thought about it earlier. Plus one armor. Hey, I wonder how how good and bad the items can get. Because ten minus ten casing for plus uh, plus one armor is effectively the trade we've made so far, and that's a very good trade. I wonder if it's a dealer always or house always wins situation or uh, or the Rito always wins situation, huh? I wonder. Because may maybe it's like usually a good idea to use it. You win money. Good deal. Dollar sign. I didn't. I didn't check to see how much it was. But this is the kind of item where, yeah, if we get into the, the custom item series when I when I or not custom item series, custom mod the Gungeon series when we do it, I'm gonna be really, really excited to play around with that one again. It may maybe one of my favorite items in the pack, even though it is, you know, it's it's relatively simple in concept. But a lot of times, some of the best items are just simple concepts that have not been utilized yet so we're gonna do it again what kind of how bad can you get plus one key like so far so good i have a feeling we're getting a little lucky though my guess is it would pay out like maybe usually pay out more 
let's do this one here. Ring of Guan Swiftness, and let's give ourselves. Uh, I don't know. White Guan Stone, just to see how how fast is fast. Quite a bit faster. Quite a bit faster. We'll, here, we'll drop it to get a reference. Quite a bit faster, and you actually. You may be thinking, what is that? Who cares? Maybe. You might be thinking that. Well, Galaxy Brain incoming. You want it to spin faster. It's just going to be more likely to hit the bullets, break the bullets coming in. Especially if you have a couple. If you have like five and they're spinning really fast, you want the, the horizontal, or I mean, you know, horizontal-ish movement to be faster because they're going to be breaking the bullets from the sides as they spin around. It's just, it's just better. Increase the rotational velocity of orbitals. Guan stones draw their power from residual energetic waves within the gungeon, whose amplitude determines the rate at which the orbitals spin. The ring somehow emits the identical wave, which doubles their rotation speed. Spin me right round, baby, right round. God, I love them. I love, another huge thing I like about these custom items, thing, I'm going crazy here, is uh, just reading what they come up with for their descriptions and their names and everything. Just And if... If they want to go and uh, make make it fit in with the lore or not, or yes or no. All these, I, th I think, I can see them. It's the same thing I said maybe with the, I think with retrashes is they, they fit the theme like pretty darn well. They're just like tangentially, like you can maybe, you can tell that they're probably not made by the Gungeon devs themselves, but usually it's just because they, they're more willing to take a risk because it's a mod. They're more willing to take a risk and do something a little bit more zesty, perchance. Um, but, yeah, they seem really within the uh, the realm of normal stuff. I wanted to do the chest. This is one that I was really excited about as well. It apparently lets you re-roll your chest. Rerolls chest result in Daisuke's experiments in transformation magic. Also doubles as a storage device, so I believe... Does it give you an extra... No? Oh, So we just got the same thing. That's okay. It's allowed. It's allowed. We'll, we'll re-roll every single chest we see. We'll re-roll all of them. I just want to double check to see what we're maybe missing here. We got... Let's see. Two. Three. Oh, we're definitely... Let's give ourselves this right now. The Ruby Lotus blooms from blood. A rare flower that blooms in the times of hardship. Traditionally, lotus flowers glow, grow in harsh, muddy waters. The Blobulon Empire genetically engineered these flowers to instead grow and bloom on bloody battlefields. The crystalline sign releases pheromone that bolsters strength when blood abounds. So, do we have... Uh... Here, let's give ourselves the blood bank to test that out so like you could have a run where you got these at, at the same time and you could really have a good good time with that so we're at 1.65 all right so still at 1.65 maybe it's uh maybe it rounds up to or rounds up or down to uh full hearts potentially very very good idea very cool idea one that i always wanted in the game as well Oh my god, this this run, even if we didn't have all these modded items thrown at us by myself, this run would be ridiculous. Alright. We going for it? Alright. Where's my dang item? There we go. Oh my god, the explosions! Oh my god, the explosions plus the damage plus everything, just the way that everything combined right now. We just had to not get hit for that like half second there and we were going to be good. I'm actually going to dip out here. We'll uh, just pun over the jam. Maybe. We could actually just let's drop the terrifying mask for a second here. Let's just play around with some extra crazy damage. Why not? Why not? So what else we got? We have... We've got most of them. I believe we're missing Material of Emancipation Grill. I think in the Magic Mirror. Let's do that. Okay, give Magic Mirror. 
Calibers looking glass, we spawned the Lord of the Jam, because of course it's cursed, because Kyle made it. Reflects nearby bullets forged around a shard of glass found at the foot of a shattered mirror. It emanates a dark energy that frightens bullets to their core. All right, reflects nearby bullets. We can have a lot of fun with that. Oh, it's a, oh, a one-time, I see, I see, okay. I thought it was like, hold it down and it reflects the bullets, but no. It, it's like a, it's like a room-wide blank, but extra crazy. Okay, I see now. Okay, like I tried to reflect those and it didn't work, but I guess those aren't from the, there's always weird issues with those bullets. So that doesn't surprise me one bit that it didn't work for that situation. Is it charging up? It is charging up. Oh my god. I'm trying to wait so I can... Oh, oh I lost my cracked egg because I got hit. Trying to, trying to flip them items back. We got to... Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Very good. Uh, very good. This run is getting... Uh, starting to get wacky. Got so many active. What am I doing? Why did I do this to myself? Why did I give myself the big boost? Strafe gun. Actually, you. I want to try out the strafe gun. I want to try out the strafe gun. I don't know. Probably a better way to do that, too. Run, 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 run. I want to try out the strafe gun against the bosses. I just, it strikes me as something that could be really, really crazy. But let's actually, let's get ourselves the last item so we definitely get to show it off here. Got them all, got them all, got them all. Got to just make sure we got them all here. The last one is the Material Emancipation Grill. I got no idea. Temporary invulnerability and increased dodge roll damage. It cre creates a field around the user that vaporizes unauthorized materials. Handy piece of technology found its way into the gungeon in the hands of a mysteriously silent woman. Some say she possessed a form of serious brain damage. For science. Interesting. So, is this... Oh no! We are me. We don't... It's, it's, it's a dis-synergy. The dis-synergy with the, uh, stinking... Who's it? What's it? Where'd it go? Where the hell? I have too many items. There it is. There it is. Alright, well, we'll try it out again. In a second here. It's gonna be fun to get these naturally and just kind of, like, you know... It, it is fun uh, in situations to have all, all the things at the same time. Be like, oh, this is crazy. Look at this run. It's wild, man. But just... I am uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing them show up just in natural situations, too. Huh. Where they're like... Okay, okay, I wanna... Okay, well, that was a, not a very exciting use of it, but I can... I totally get it. It's a... It is a blank effect, but it also reflects the bullets back. So think like a room-wide Casey. Room-wide Casey is probably a good way to look at it. Try this out. We're still going through the enemies, though. Still going through the enemies. Maybe I'm misunderstanding the item. <laughs> Keep on getting the same item. I think that that is just, um... I think that we're just getting quote unquote lucky or unlucky. I don't think that's I don't think that's anything up with the mod. I think that's just like totally realistic that you would it's probably you're probably more likely to get a green or a blue. Or a probably a brown. Everybody shoot at me for a second. Yep. Yep, indeed. That could be really fun to have, especially um we're getting a little bit of a skewed view of the balance of these items due to the ice pack. 
They may be better or worse, depending on if we have it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I should take it, I guess, right? Where's Mr. Dragoon? But we haven't done sweating bullets in a while. We like almost might as well just do it at this point. Let's drop a couple items. Oh, you know what? Let's you no. Know, let's use this. Oh, we get to see. We get to see. We get to see. Please tell me. Oh, it doesn't work. Doesn't work on bosses. Doesn't work on bosses. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Very, very important to know. Oh, shoot. I actually meant to re-roll that. We lost... What? Take a damage. Oh, no. All right. Well, you know what? I believe... Let me just double check one more time. Make sure we've got all of them. Blood bank, blood shield, boss bolts, cloak and dagger, curse ring, D-chest, ice pack, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Mankey, Magic Mirror, Mask, Ma Material Emancipation Grill, Mimic Whistle, Ring of Guan, Swiftness, Ruby Lotus, Slot Machine, Sticky Bomb, Sweating Bullets, Terrifying Mask, and Thermometer. Indeed, we have shown them all off. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of dropping of a couple of these so that we can really just play around with the items in the boss. There that we can probably have a, you know, probably have a more logical chance of, you know, using on them. Okay, we got this. Got our sweat and bullets. You better believe this guy is going down. Oh, here we go. This explosion should be nuts. It's not nuts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was expecting more. I was expecting more damage. I mean, we're doing a lot, don't get me wrong. Oh, bad use of sweating bullets there. Good use of the the mirror there, though. Looking good. The ring takes a long time to charge up, which usually wouldn't really matter, I guess. I mean, you would maybe want to have it charge fast so you can use it multiple times in the same boss fight, but I think it's pretty realistic to just, uh, just to get it, you know, maybe. It's very good dodge. Maybe once, once on the boss and then, you know, whatever, you're done. It's your, your one shot, your one opportunity. Get out of my swamp. Well, there we go. Pop on over to the gun up here. Because that was our showcase for today. Once again, it was Kyle the Scientist's Mod the Gungeon Custom Item Pack. Check it out. Download it and put it in your game if you're playing on PC. It works with the other custom item packs too, so you can have a, a slew a slew of custom items. Effectively like an expansion size amount of items. If you you know, you add a couple of these packs together, it's a pretty big deal. And hopefully like a lot more stuff gets shown or uh, people get more interested in creating custom guns, custom items. I know Kyle mentioned there's a possibility. I ain't throw, trying to throw him on the bus. There's a possibility he may be making a, a tutorial on how to make custom items soon. We'll see. Go subscribe over on his YouTube channel to get ready for that. He's got a cu couple of tutorials on how to make mods for the game right now. Making a custom character is very, very easy. Um, really doesn't take any time at all, ex except for the sprites, which takes quite a bit of time. But as far as like difficulty goes, it's not that difficult. Uh, apparently, creating items is not too difficult either, but I, I don't know quite how to do it right now. But links in the description for the things that I mentioned about downloading today. So go check them out, add them to your game, and join the Discord to let me know what you want to see out of Mod the Gungeon in the future. You can give me suggestions for custom Gungeon runs, because I'm going to be doing those at some point soon too. When, there, when the amount of mods to showcase dies down a little bit, because since we're just starting, there's a whole lot of stuff, like big stuff, that we haven't shown off. We're going to be showing off Apache Thunder's custom fort some point soon here in the Chaos Glitch mod. We're going to be showing off Kyle the Scientist's, uh, shoot, wasn't it? Insane floor mods. Let's call it that. The insane floor layouts. I know it's not insane, but by the looks of it, let's use the word insane. We'll showcase those coming up soon. There's a lot of really cool stuff coming up. 
So subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos, a lot of which are going to be including mods. And like I said, join the Discord too. Talk about Enter the Gungeon, mod the Gungeon, see what's new with the mod the Gungeon stuff, and uh, make suggestions for the series in the future. Follow on twitch.tv slash Retromation as well to catch me streaming Enter the Gungeon and more live. And follow on Twitter, RetromationYT, because Retromation is taken for major channel updates. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.